Grace be unto you, from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers, and this right over here this morning is my two-year-old, all stretched out puppy Dot. Stu's lying down here resting. Uh, she's already been out today, and so she's going to get her sinus medicine. She's being a good girl today, and she is now a two-year-old puppy as of the 16th. So she's working on that third year now, and we're hoping at 108.7 pounds that that's uh, as big as she's going to get. Uh, I think if I cut back on the, the peanut butter, she would probably do much better. And I can say the same thing for myself too. <laughs> but I uh, hope you're having a blessed day today as we are uh, into the fourth week in the season of Lent. Uh, and it's uh, flying right by. And uh, I do, do pray that uh, you're in a good place and that you're enjoying the blessings of this day. You know, I was uh, just thinking the other day about uh, a study I read, oh, this was a couple of years ago, about uh, what we do with our free time uh, when we have uh, nothing uh, going on at the moment. Uh, we're um, uh, away from work for a minute or this idle time and uh, we find ourselves uh, confronted with uh, nothing to do. And what do we do with our free time these days? And how do we use that time uh, in our lives to make uh, our world better and the, the world in general better? <coughs> Excuse me. And generally what I, re I remember from that study is that we, uh, we don't normally do things uh, in our free time uh, that help us. Uh, we have uh, idle time and we uh, sit in front of a screen uh, for the most part or, or open up our phones and we spend idle time just cruising through channels and uh, cruising through networks and cruising through TV programs uh, without really internalizing anything. Uh, and that type of idle time that type of free time is, is really dangerous for us. Um, I know several people who engage in hour after hour after hour of playing video games uh, or getting their phones out and spending hour after hour after hour searching aimlessly, uh, relentlessly, pointlessly for nothing. And when they're asked, well, what do you look for when you're on your phone all the time? You get, I don't know, nothing really. Uh, or um, I forgot what I started looking for and I'm just sort of going from one thing to another. Going from one thing to another when we're uh, on electronic media can be dangerous for us uh, because uh, uh, the old saying about an idle mind is absolutely true. It's the devil's workshop. Uh, the enemy gets into those idle moments and uh, coerces and entices and tempts us to stray from the path that's before us. The best use of idle time is to think about the one who's with you right that moment and is thoroughly engaged and invested in your life, and that's the Lord your God. He has brought you to this moment. And if it's an idle moment, he's brought you to that one. Use it for his glory. Uh, there's nothing better that you can do than pray the rosary or, or say your prayers or go through your prayer list of people you're supposed to pray for. Get out a Bible and start reading it. Get out a, a commentary on scripture and start reading it. Uh, reading engages our mind. Cruising through the internet uh, wastes our mind. And so... Uh, there are all sorts of things you can do. Uh, there's, there are lists of how can I use my free time. Go, go consult those. Some things like if you're going to use your phone, use it to help you learn a foreign language. There are all sorts of voice recognition uh, programs that can help you learn to understand and to speak in another language. Uh, use it. God's given you a brilliant mind to use. It's his, one of the pinnacle of his creation. Use it for his honor and for his glory. Uh, and then tell others about what he's done for you. Uh, that's why we're here, to spread the good news. And I was thinking of the old spiritual, I love to tell the story. Thank you.
day today. Today and God willing, daughter, and I will see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.